so what is the role of a story artist uh, according to me uh, a story artist replaces the camera right and he creates the whole blueprint for a film so in order to be a story artist you need to observe everything everything around you because you need to know how to choreograph a dance you need to how to choreograph a fight you need to know acting you need to know drawing you need to be uh you know a master of all crafts at least you don't need to learn it on your own like if you need to choreograph a fight you don't need to learn kung fu but you should know the moves you should know how a fight is choreographed or if you are because in storyboarding if you are given a scene like if you are given a song to storyboard so you need to know how you should choreograph a dance right with the music with the beats so because you are the guy who is planning everything for the rest of the crew and whatever you create everyone is going to follow that right you need to be creative you need to be spontaneous you need to be uh, able to think quickly come up with ideas right will go to aspect ratio what is aspect ratio we have three aspect ratios for tvs and films aspect ratio is the format of the frame we use to show the output like the series or film or whatever we are showing to the audience so this is the format we are going to show right so 14 is to 3 4 is to 3 means this versus this this is the ratio of this two right because we tell our story in a frame right so we need to know what kind of frame is this is this like this is it like this is it square what it is always a rectangle and the format lies within this three right so that is called the aspect ratio so th there are three kinds of aspect ratio one is 4 is to 3 like if you remember uh, in 90s or before 90s we had this format for tv 4 is to 3 completely uh, near to square right uh, it is out of use now nobody uses this uh, now everyone uses this hd for tv and most of the films right 16 is to 9 and this is cinema scope right for theatricals for uh you know huge big budget films which have a large canvas mostly they use cinema scope for that kind of films they also are different formats and hd is the commonly used format format right now so these are the three formats out of which this is not in use like if you have seen 720 by 576 if you must have opened any kind of software photoshop or uh, uh, you know or flash or storyboard toon toon boom storyboard pro how many there they always show format for this for the file so these are the formats 720 by 576 comes in the ratio of 4 is to 3 right but now it is this is not in use so mostly the two things that are in use are this right structure of a storyboard so uh, in structure of a storyboard what is the smallest unit of a storyboard what is the smallest unit the smallest unit of a storyboard from where it starts is a single panel or a frame right i just write it down every film 
or every video starts with a single panel right so this is the smallest unit of any film any film film is i am considering film as a video don't consider it as a film film kind of thing a 3 hour long feature no a 1 minute video is also called a film and a 3 hour long feature is also called a film and a 20 second of 20 second of video is also considered as a film so every footage you can consider as a film everyone is aware about a panel or a frame what is a panel or a frame it is a single panel or a frame right which is like this or a single snapshot of a frame after that clear this is very very important guys please pay attention smallest unit is a panel number of panels make a shot number of shots make a scene right number of scene make a sequence and number of sequence makes a film so let's say you guys know about panel right now let's say what is a shot shot is the duration of the footage between two transitions like uh let's say we have right basic definition from a layman's point of view if our camera is on and we are shooting without closing the camera or without putting the shutter down that whole duration is called one single shot right the duration between two cuts it is very very simple guys the duration between two cuts when our camera is on completely and we are shooting the footage right until we stop the camera or pause the camera that is called one shot got it yes, sir okay so what if we zoom in from that first shot single shot that maybe it will be considered a single shot single until shot. We, until we cut it until we okay. cut it have you seen 1971 Nineteen seventeen, I think. Nineteen seventeen. Yes, sir. Right. Of yes, sir. Most of the people have seen. So yes. that film is considered single uh, shot. Yeah, a single shot movie. Yes. Technically, that is not. Technically, mm-hmm. that is not. They have taken their liberties to, you know, give an impression that it is a single shot film. But if you see, they haven't, you know. they don't have any cut in between the shots it is a, it is a continuous film mm. right so there is there is zoom in there is zoom out all kinds of camera movements and everything but until we cut that is considered a single shot mm. 